Hey, this is going to be my review video um, on my Smith & Wesson uh, M&P 15. Uh, it's got the old uh, factory um, um, handguard from like the 1980s, like you used to see in all the Arnold Schwarzenegger, movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, like Commando and stuff like that. So what I decided to do is I want to switch it out to a uh, another, another handguard when it goes to full extension in a barrel. It's kind of like a free-floating handguard, but it's not truly a free-floating handguard because I'm not going to remove this... Uh, front sight egg post there. I'm going to end up putting on this here. I'll talk a little bit more about it uh, here a little bit later, but this is a, a, a handguard that I got from a company that I found on Google called uh, Acme Machine Company. They make uh, all sorts of AR parts and things like that. Um, I was just doing a Google search looking for uh, different hand guards to have a, have neat different little unique styles because, you know, they all pretty much look the same. And I found this one and it's called the Hive. And I would assume it's called the Hive because it has these, like, uh, looks like a little honeycomb pattern in there. I really think that looks gorgeous. So I'm really excited to see what this looks like on my Smith & Wesson once I get it swapped out. So uh, in this video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap this out. So apparently it's, it's pretty easy. There's just this thing called a delta ring here. I just have to collapse the delta ring. It should be able to pop off this like a clamshell. should come off in two separate pieces. And then I just have to take all the little... Uh, the little bolts out of here. I think there's a total of eight. So there's four on this side, four on the other. And then put it on top of this. It has a little cutout here for the little A front post. And then I'm going to be able to put this on and tighten it on there. And then the delta ring it just holds it in place. Uh, you know, eventually I might want to do something where I get rid of the delta ring and actually go with a barrel nut um, and possibly remove this uh, front side A post. But that requires a little bit more tweaking. You got to take the barrel off. You got to mess with the gas line and the and the block. And it, and it makes it a little bit easier if you have special tools like a uh, armor's wrench, which I do not have at this time. And so I thought, you know, for the price, I got this for, I think it was uh, $49. Uh, I originally it was like 69 and then all of a sudden the website like gave me a discount for some reason. So I was like for less than 60 bucks at tax and shipping. Uh, I mean, this thing looks great. And I got to tell you, the feel and function of this thing, it looks good. I mean, I saw there's not really that much online about Acme Machine, but I'm hooked. This so far, I'm this product is blowing me away. I actually was able to call Acme Machine. I got somebody right away when I called uh, like three rings. A guy answered. I asked him some questions about this. I asked him some questions about things I want to do the AR, what kind of items I might need, tools. The guy was very knowledgeable, very friendly. He answered all my questions. He wasn't in a rush to get me off the phone, which uh, customer service is a very big deal to me. Um, so, so far, we're two for two. The price, or three for three, really. The price was amazing. The customer service over the phone after the purchase was amazing. And now that I've actually gotten this product in my hand today, I mean, it's great. Just came in a regular old box, nothing fancy, but it is a really feels very, very light, but very high quality, very heavy duty. But it's really light, which I like because that way it won't put a lot of extra weight on the gun. Um, so, yep. Yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to pause this video and I'm going to assemble this bad boy on here and then uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like. I'm excited. Can't wait to see it. All right. I wanted to come back real quick. Uh, so I just took off the old... 1980s you know um, Hollywood movie handguard it took me like 10 seconds all I had to do was push the delta ring down and once I was able to push the delta ring down and it came off this I just dropped off both pieces and it just came right off like that so um, the delta ring was physically very hard to push down but I was able to do it I know they make tools that would probably make this so much easier and so much simpler. We'll see how hard that's going to be when it comes to putting this back on there. But uh, we'll see. So I'm going to pause it once again. Oh, and I just want you to see, I'm sure a lot of y'all seen what an AR looks like without the handguard. I've, I've never seen this one. But there's the little gas tube there. But we're not going to mess with that today. That'll be for a later project when we're actually going to put on a barrel nut, take off the barrel, and put a whole free float handguard here. But for now, we're just going to go with that. But I'm excited to see what it looks like. Acme works. AcmeMachine.com All right, one more thing I wanted to show you before I put this handguard on. I was actually able to took it apart. And actually, it's not two pieces. It's three pieces. So the top is going to be all one piece here. And this goes in the A. The A front goes through here. 
the front top piece and then the bottom piece is actually in two separate pieces here that go on and with these here it has a little gap in there so that your actual um, uh, your uh, sling mount will just drop through that hole so that's cool so all right I just wanted to look at that one more time before I carry on all right and I'm back um, it was a lot harder getting it on than it was getting it off I would say it took me about maybe five minutes uh, but uh, getting the top on was real quick and easy. And then just getting this this first bottom piece in the delta ring. Uh, getting it in and getting it to... Because it had to just go in so perfectly straight to get in there. It was hard to keep the delta ring down by myself. Uh, also, just using my bare hands. It's hard to keep the delta ring down and sliding it in. But I eventually got it. And then the, the third piece went on like real easy here. And get to the little Allen bolts here that you just put in. It even came with a little wrench for it and everything. And... Uh, Acme machine and they uh, sent me two little I want to call them what two inch little uh, pink D attachments so this one is M lock so if I wanted to put like a, a light or something on here for right now I'm not gonna do anything with it I might eventually get like a, a front grip for the front of this but for now I'm just gonna leave that there but it did come with two of those with the package so that's it's not bad I mean I love it i i mean i know it's a it's a, just a cosmetic thing but this is awesome the gun looks gorgeous it totally transformed it i'm so happy i think this is probably the best uh, under 60 dollar upgrade that you can make to an ar i know the smith and wesson m p15 is kind of a uh, it's a good ar but it's not a fancy one it's not a super expensive ar i think i got this on a black friday my wife actually waited outside in the cold and uh in the in the icy weather and got this at cabela's on a black friday i think she got it for like 5.99 or some crazy price and it came with like also like i think 600 rounds of ammo and and a hard case for it too she got a doorbuster deal for it but uh it's a good ar I've, I've maybe shot i don't know 400 rounds maybe not much more than that through it it's good this optic here is trash it's a cheap little cabela's 60 dollar uh, red dot. I'm eventually going to swap that out with a scope and actually put something legit on here to go with that. But for now, this is my setup. Like I said, probably best $60 I've ever spent. So if you've never heard of Acme Machine, I say uh, give them a look, acmachine.com. It was great, great, great product. As you can tell, I don't know what you think, but I think this thing looks awesome. So, pinky detail. Oh, and there's like no gap at all in between the front here and where the new um the thing comes. i don't know if you can see that but there's like no gap it fits perfect the only thing i don't like but it has nothing to do with this is i hate this delta ring so i would love to upgrade and get rid of that delta ring but other than that i i bought it on a whim but like i said i was looking on google i was looking at all there's like two or three different brands uh, main main name brands that make this like a vera and then another one it's like a three letter uh i don't remember off the top of my head a PSA or something like that it makes ones that look similar to this. I like that hive texture pattern I mean for me that just makes this one look so much better than the other ones and makes it unique too because a lot of people don't have that And I got the 15 inch if you're wondering so that's why it comes all the way out to the end it looks oh, It looks so good So good. So if you have any questions about this acne machine um, this uh, hand guard here, this is the 15 inch um, please uh, hit me up in the comment section ask any questions you got uh, if you like what you're seeing right now go ahead and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, so that uh, you know and the more likes the more subscribers get the more videos I want to do because I have lots of guns so I have lots of lots of videos still to make um, yeah YouTube piss off uh, go rumble right um, thank you for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe